So I have two new projects. One of them is very specific to uh, something near and dear to me uh, as a blind person. Sure. The, we are working on a, a brailled label, sticker labels for card games. Cool. Uh, and, and other uh, games as well, but primarily we're looking at like unstable unicorns and exploding kittens as, as two of the games we've played nice. a lot. Uh, as what about Cards actions? Against Humanity? Can we do that in Braille? Anytime? Yes. Yes. Nice. Uh, that's another good one. It's surprisingly not available. Like it, the, We found Braille playing cards, Braille Old Maid, Braille Uno, and Skibbo. Those, Those games suck. Those games suck. Uh, playing cards are great. Poker is a cool game, especially without clothes or with as you lose clothes. Uh, not as great when you're blind, but you know whatever. You don't you don't you're not self conscious about it, I guess. Yeah, but for uh, sure. But, but like I mean, the fact that there's some stakes and you know there's sexualism and all that shit involved definitely makes everything better. I think. Yeah, yeah. Pl playing cards are fine. The other three uh, pass. Skibbo, depending on how drunk I am, I'll play it. Uh, but so it's been interesting to see that there's a lack of resources available. And I, I'm highly specialized in the magnet brand. One of the things I do best is uh, relatively low volumes for products uh, with uh, different skews of so customization. Uh, so I'm, I'm applying what I do there to be able to do all these different games and, and get this out to a lot of different blind people. I learned to sit there with a handheld magnifier to try and, uh, and read these games for a couple hours, which is... yeah. I, so I'm just to, just for the viewers, I mean, you and I have talked about that. You're about like 95% blind, right? Yep. Okay, so you yep. can still see, but you have to really zoom in, and it's difficult to I, figure out where to zoom. Yep. I, on a computer, I'm zoomed in 10 times with voiceover on reading the screen. Got so, it. Uh, this this brand label thing is it has some personal aspects, and we realize that I'm not the only person who wants to play card games or who is playing card games. I know some other blind people who do, and it, it's been relatively frustrating, irritating, just an accepted pain point that we all have. And uh, Ashley is a uh, teacher of the deaf and teacher of the visually impaired or impending on that second one, uh, working on her degree. And it's like, what, this makes way too much sense for us not to help. Yeah. Um, so that, that business does not have a website yet, but uh, it may by the time this episode goes out. And if it does, then I'll, I'll send it over to Please, Spencer. yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get at it then. Sure. 